Hey, KIC here. Welcome back to a little more Ark Survival Evolved. Spina here and Lego are the most recent acquisitions, the most recent folks to decide to join the team. Picked them up on the last episode. Also, got a couple dodos. I'll show you them in just a moment. I thought I'd take a look at Lego's numbers here. Now, I'm kind of trying to commit some of these to memory just a little bit because I'm kind of curious. But for right now, he's going to get a boatload of hit points, so another 300. And I'm just kind of curious how he compares to Spina over here. Movement speed's about the same. He definitely hits harder. He, wow, has far, far fewer hit points. Did he get a bunch of points in food? Oh, that is so worthless, if so. Stamina, oxygen. Here, let me take one more look. You might actually be the far... Well, no, I guess he didn't. Hmm. Well, he got some into stamina, or into oxygen, rather, which I guess that theoretically could be helpful. 448. You were... what are you? 448, so they're about the same there. Let's go check out... oh, egg. I'll go ahead and take that. Thank you very much, Racer X. I'm not sure how you dropped an egg. I actually thought that was fixed. I guess not. Huh, anyway... So Tweedledee, Tweedledum are hanging out in the dodo coop back here. I really wish I could get them a ceiling. I'll have to consider destroying all this at a later date, putting down some proper foundations and making some walls with that to make a proper ceiling. So, oh man, I, I didn't prepare for this at all. I'm so sorry. Here, I'm going to do this one time, and then we'll put that in number nine. That's... I think a better place for it than number seven. And we'll do this one more time over here as well. We'll use that guy. I just like to be able to keep my crops growing a little bit. And that does give more than a single water skin does. Water skin is about 100 units of water. That's good for about 150. So, you know, it's an upgrade. So, plan for this episode is if I have enough stuff... I'd like to make a couple of saddles. I, I don't think I do, though. So let's check this box here. I didn't show you where I had that particular blueprint, the one I'm highlighting with the mouse. I didn't show you where I had that one hidden. It was actually in this box over here because I was running out of places to put things. So I have various things, arrows, cementing paste, etc. More hides in there. Let's go ahead and... Nope, wrong one. Let's open this up. Nope. Wrong button. So I need a bunch of fiber and a bunch of wood. If I recall correctly, someone, perhaps Sauron, is carrying a boatload of wood. Well, okay, maybe not a boatload, but he's definitely carrying a fair amount. So we'll go ahead and grab that and that. And that actually gives me more than enough fiber. I know, I'm going to have some leftover. I, whatever, just grabbing stuff quickly. Sauron, I think I stored some wood on you. Did I not? Yes, I did. Look at that. It's not a boatload, but it's enough. So let's go ahead and craft a Stego saddle. Now, I'm going to go ahead and throw it on... Oh, who do I want to throw it on, actually? Hmm. I'll, I'll throw it on the higher level dinosaur. Why not? So I'll give it to Spina over here. And then I want to check one more thing. So forgive me as I run back inside yet again. Because in this box, I have a raptor saddle, and I need a bunch of hides to make a slightly better raptor saddle than what I already have. So I don't need much more wood. I definitely have enough hides to do it, because I saw I have yet more hides over there. So let me go chop a tree down right quick. This won't take too long, I promise. Just do that one right there. That's more than I needed, technically, so let's go ahead and make a new raptor saddle. This will be a slight upgrade over the one that Freya already has. Good thing is, this will give me an extra saddle should I decide I want to go grab another raptor, then, at least for the time being, I could throw a saddle on that raptor just to give them the upgrade in armor. I have a cat just flying in. She decided to come pay a visit, say hello, and... I'm going to go ahead and take care of a couple things right off camera real quick. And then I'll be back with you and we're going to go take Spina here for a little spin because I haven't done that yet and I'm really curious how that's going to go. 
Oh, look at that. There's a ton of Mijo berries on that. I, in fact, maybe I shouldn't even take all of those. I should probably just leave them there, because I think they will last longer on that than they will elsewhere. Tinkerbell, you get to hold a boatload of berries for me. Don't let them spoil. Maybe I should think about a refrigerator or something at some point. So, I had to take care of a couple things right quick. Real life kind of getting in the way sort of thing, so nothing exciting. I was hoping I would have enough hides that I could go ahead and make another Stegosaurus saddle, but I don't. Wow, you back up slowly, don't you? What do you need? You need more health. That's what you need. So let's go ahead and take good old Stegosaurus Spina here out for a spin. Hmm, you really do turn like a battleship now, don't you? Holy cow. You are not at all fast. You have a fair amount of stamina, which is nice. So what happens if I left click? You gather a boatload of berries just like it ain't no thing. Look at that. That is fantastic, actually. That's, um, yoink. Wow. That's better than Spikette does. I, I think I have my new berry gatherer. Except it takes so long to get this guy anywhere that that might end up being a problem. Oh yeah, you're gonna, you're gonna eat those Mijo berries. You know what? At this point, I would say you have earned it, so why not? You go ahead and chomp down on those. Wow. I I wish I would have had one of these handy, one of these dinosaurs handy when I was actually trying to tame them. Wow. Unreal. Are you getting thatch too? You actually are. How are you at gathering wood and thatch? I'm going to guess not very good. Eight thatch, two wood. You're a thatch gatherer, so you're actually kind of handy for farming then, aren't you? You know, while I was getting things uh, kind of set back up again so I could resume recording this episode, I did run around and gather... Wow, you're... Wow, sorry, this is... Navigation on this guy is not exactly easy. I said, he kind of turns like a battleship. All right. Just knock stuff out of your way. That will be the solution. There you go. You can get around that tree. I did end up gathering a couple of blueprints off of some blue supply crates. Nothing particularly interesting, metal door. Well, maybe the medium plot was interesting. I might, I might actually go ahead and try and create a couple of those and just see what the difference is. Wow, let's get rid of these trees here because they're kind of blocking my way. No, nope, other side. No, nope, other side. That side. There you go. Good job, Spina. But I might go ahead and throw one down just to kind of be able to compare and see how different things are in terms of berry growth or that sort of thing. I might Maybe I'll do a, a medium plot of narco berries. I, I don't seem to be able to have enough of those. In fact, let's just see how much this guy's carrying. Well, he's carrying me and a fair amount of wood too. So that's some of it, but just kind of taking a look here. So you have one, two, five, six, seven, about seven full stacks. I mean, the stem berries are not full, plus a couple more stacks that are pretty close to full. And this has been Realistically, just a couple minutes of driving him around and gathering stuff, so that's not bad at all. I do want to see what he does over here. We're going to go into the little, I don't know, patch of plants that are kind of everywhere where I found Spikette, because if he's going to shine somewhere, it's going to be where there are a lot of plants. So either that way or this way, it doesn't really matter. But here, let's go ahead and make him run. This is running, by the way. Yep. That's running. You are doing just fine. I'm not making fun of your speed. I'm actually not. I mean, okay, maybe I am a little bit, but, you know, I guess I get used to my raptor and, uh, I don't know, Freya seems pretty quick. This guy, maybe not so much. And that is fantastic. Look at that. 
if I keep up on it so that it keeps updating the numbers, I bet you'll see a bunch of 99s and 80s and, oh, look at that, 106 Amar berries. Oh, there's a bunch of stuff over here. Let's go ahead and check these out. First, we'll let him get some stamina back. He is a little tired. I am being a jerk and running him around and making him collect a bunch of stuff after all. Okay. At the very least, though, he does get to eat whatever he wants. So, you know, I'm not withholding food from him. Not by a long shot. Look at that. Ah, that is... That is just awesome. I can definitely see where there's been an attempt to give every dinosaur some sort of specialty. In this case, this guy not only is berry gathering his specialty, but so is gathering thatch. Maybe it's not as good as maybe, say, uh, I don't know, maybe the mammoth does better. I know the mammoth is more for gathering wood based on what I have read. But, I don't know, maybe the mammoth gets a fair amount of thatch, too. I, I don't I don't really know. I can't say. Wow, look at that. Felling trees and plants left and right. It's a good thing there's no physics in this game such that trees can hurt you upon falling down. Then again, these itty-bitty little palm trees. I, I, don't, I don't think he would care. I think he would just kind of ignore that. Oh, he is a little full. I need to try and get him back to base, which means I'm going to run without him because I'm definitely weighing him down a little bit. So, come on, buddy. Make that nice, wide right turn. Wow. Good stuff. I i am enjoying that. I mean, he has a boatload of, boatload of berries on him, which that's kind of handy. I like that. Can't move very quickly. I mean... That's pretty much full speed right now. I think because he has so many berries and things on him here. Can I can I give you a hand? Or maybe I can help you by taking a bunch of the wood from you. That should actually make you be able to carry a little bit more. Let's get you a little more health. There we go. I'd feel better if you're at over a thousand hit points, so that's good. Still would mind getting a Another saddle. Of course, that means I'm going to need to go on a rampage, which might mean that I need to take Sauron out for a spin again. Maybe go uh, run, around, run around with Freya and have him follow again. That was that was kind of entertaining. I did that a little bit on my own time, aside from when I just had him follow me directly. I don't know. It's uh, it's pretty crazy what a T-Rex can do, and I'm. I can only imagine what he'd be capable of with a proper saddle and a few more levels even, because he's a pretty low-level guy. He's actually ready to level up. So we'll take care of that as soon as I get back. I'm going to just kind of make a make the rounds right quick on the dinosaurs and make sure they're good to go. That way we can make sure for the next episode they're rip-roaring and ready to rock and roll. There were a lot of R's I just threw out there. Take that alliteration. All right, this will be good enough. He'll make it over here eventually. I think. Let's just see if anyone's ready to be leveled up. You are really close, Spike Yet. How about you, Racer X? You are not. Not going to worry about Dodos right now. Mr. Schenker, you are not. Lego, you are. Let's go ahead and give you a level. Wow, I can hit you with health again, and you would just be like one massive tank. Let's go ahead and do weight. That got you about 20 points. That wasn't bad. You are not ready for a level tink. Nor are you. Nor are you. So Ronnie and Miss are not. Freya, I don't think, is going to be for a while. She actually just leveled up as I was running around gathering stuff. So let's go ahead and give good old Sauron here. What should he get? I'm going to give him melee damage. It's ready for him to start hitting. It's time for him to start hitting harder. There we go. Easy for me to say. Okay, and Spino over here is kind of kind of stuck. Here, I'm just going to go ahead and hop onto you. That way I can go ahead and park you where I'd like you to hang out. Just to drive you around the other side here. And that's where I'm going to call it an episode. So I'm going to go park Spina on the side of the house. I'm going to have a boatload of berries that... I don't know, I guess I should consider going and finding another herbivore now, huh? Let's just take a look. How many berries is this guy carrying? 
because mijo berries are the ones I'm going to want. So there's a full stack of 100 there, and there's close to another stack there, so that's about 200. That's enough for pretty much any herbivore right now. Any single herbivore, probably not two. That was probably a once-in-a-series type thing there, where I managed to get a couple of these guys at the same time. I don't think that's going to happen again. So this is where I'm calling it an episode right here. I'm going to take care of just a couple of little things on my own, and then I will rejoin you for the next episode. Just a quick word, since I keep forgetting to say it, next week might be a little funky. I'm actually going to be out of town for a few days, so I will do my best to maintain daily uploads. I'm not sure how that's going to happen, because I can tell you right now, I am not dragging a 60-pound workstation a 20 or 30 pound gigantic monitor to a hotel room for a few days and trying to rely on hotel internet. That's just not going to happen. So I have to record all this stuff way in advance, which means it may or may not happen. So crossing my fingers, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. See you later.